Okay, guys, I talk about Michael Flynn. Okay, so this is a, they're like Michael Flynn. It was lack of justice. Michael Flynn, he was fooled by the FBI. Oh yeah, Michael Flynn. I, I'm sad for him. You know, he was he was really uh, it was so uh, it was just terrible what happened to him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, so let's find out what's gonna is he gonna get a pardon? What's up with Michael Flynn? Because that's what that's what they realize. Like this whole thing is being framed. They want to do this. I feel like, and I guys, I, I I used to think he was never gonna pardon this people, but nowadays, I've been thinking, I've been feeling it. Like he wants to do something shocking. I feel like he's capable of doing it, and I would not. Just before I do the reading, I not I would not be surprised. Okay, if he if he pardons these people. Okay, is he gonna pardon them? Is he gonna pardon Michael Flynn? I think he's afraid of doing it. I think he's gonna say, he's gonna, you know how he, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. But there is something here, okay? And I don't know, okay, let's find out. I don't know what it is. Is he gonna pardon Michael Flynn? Guys, okay, I, I'm, let me get the cards. I have a few things that are coming, coming important. He's a witness against Trump. That's it, maybe. Witness, he's a witness against Trump. Mm. He knows dirt. I know dirt on him. 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 Uh -huh. Oh yeah, okay, so, okay. This is the thing. Okay, so, okay. Wait, let me just get the last things of cards and then, and then I'm going to, okay, I'll, I'll talk about it. Obstacle. Oh no, oh no, no, mm -mm, no, no trash, waiting, waiting. Okay, so this is the thing. Remember, one of the, okay guys, Trump is involved in so many crimes, but one of the things that, the, the issue with, with Michael Flynn, one of them, because he's involved in a lot, is that he was working for the Turkish government. Remember this? He was worried before Trump went into office, he was working as a lobbyist for the Trump for the Turkey, Tur Turkish government. So so one of the things that they wanted him to do was to kidnap this guy who was a, some sort of like a Muslim cleric or something. I don't know who lives in Miss Pence. So some guy, some to us, a random person. Okay, random person. So so then, so then like he wanted, he's like, yeah, sure, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out, don't worry about it. And the guy, he's not an American citizen. He's like a, a permanent resident or something. So, so then that's on the record. He's trying to like kidnap a, the person. I don't even know. Maybe he may even be. I don't know. Some random guy off the street and take him to Turkey. Okay, just because Erdogan wanted Gulam. That's right, Gulam. So then, okay, that's part one. Part two, there's there's something else connected to this. So Trump and like, those people, they were probably paid by the. You know, Trump also has a, a tower, Trump Tower in Istanbul. He is. I think the Turks have dirt on Trump. Okay. He, they have Donald Trump. So what happens is that, there, do you remember guys, maybe six months ago or even less, there's this bank, this Turkish bank that was indicted for, for money laundering. It was indicted, what was it? It was like uh, laundry, doing some sort of business with Iran. Do you remember this? That they were like, it was a bank that, because as you know, the sanctions are very harsh on Iran. And if you do any business with Iran, you can go to jail. So this bank was doing, this guy was arrested. He came, the, the guy connected to, uh, you know, do you remember the story? The guy is close to, to Erdogan, okay? He came to, oh, he, he went to Disneyland on vacation. And then he was arrested at, when he stopped him because they found this stuff that he was, you know, connected to the bank, long, long story. So, so Turkey was very nervous about this case and try, remember how like Barr tried to intervene, you know, how like they were trying to do something to stop this, okay? And so, and so I feel like there's something here where I feel like he feels like if he can, he can free Michael Flynn, that he can claim the case was not a big, you know, it was fake or there's something where he's trying to protect Turkey from this. Okay. There's a connect. I think, uh, uh, Michael Flynn knows a lot about a lot of people. Okay. Because he betrayed, okay. Out of all of them guys, I, you know, it's hard to rank, but he's probably one of the worst or if not the worst, because he was in the military. I feel like if you're in the military and you betray your country, that is worse for me, you know, because those people, they lost their lives for the country and you turn your back on them for another, like, I'm sorry, no, it, it takes a lot. It takes a, his lifetime in the army. 
like in the, no, I'm sorry, it was in the army or like it was in the military, basically. I don't remember if it was the army or or whatever you call it. You know, I'm sorry. I'm ask me about military. I know, I know, I know, I know many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so so no, I don't. So so you know so so those things. Okay, like he is terrible. So so I think he. It's a way. What I think is that there's a lot of people wanting. Michael Flynn to be freed because they are afraid of what he knows. And it's not Trump. It's either the, I think the Russians to a lesser degree, but more the, Tur I think the Turkish want him freed. Okay. Because they're afraid. Like I was telling you guys, they are very afraid of something coming out that he knows. Okay. The Michael Flynn knows. So, so that's what I think. I think he's, but okay. So here, okay. So then here's this, there are people are wrestling. There's money. He know there's some money issues here this is a witness or or something important that this person knows and it could put others in prison or he went to prison because it, okay this is wrong strategy now this is the big prize there was also guys you have to remember there was these text messages that that michael flynn sent while the uh, trump inauguration was going on at the same time he was saying yeah this is like the deal was going to go through it was about the saudi deal nuclear deal so okay there's now this is instability losing your job the the person with money behind him and wait, but then there's blockage. So in other words, I feel like there's people who really want Michael Flynn to cut, to be out. Okay, a lot of people, powerful people, powerful countries, but there's the wait here and why. This is the question. If okay, this is a question I have. If Trump is that powerful, he's done a lot of shit. Okay, what would be? Why is he not? Why hasn't he done it yet? Okay, I guess what guys seriously, why hasn't he done it yet? Why hasn't he pardoned Michael Flynn? Okay, I mean, this is, I'm not saying, obviously I don't want it to happen, but I'm just curious, what is he afraid of? What is he afraid of? Okay, like, you know what I mean? You know, think about it. I think now that Barr is in charge, like he's been able to get away with a lot of shit. Why hasn't he pardoned him? Really guys, you know, this is like a, not a devil's advocate question, but really, what what has stopped him? But you know what it is, guys. This is the thing. I, I could be wrong, but please correct me because I don't remember exactly. I feel like if you want to, it's telling me, in order for Trump to pardon him, Michael Flynn has to admit guilt, and that's the problem. Because this is what you know. Oh, this is makes sense. What they want is telling me here is not to pardon him; is to say that the whole thing was fake, because that would untangle Trump from it. Because if if he gets a pardon, one of the conditions of the pardon is that you would admit guilt. Okay, you have to admit that you've done something wrong and you can't, I think there is something about a pardon that you still have to be available to talk. You can't claim Fifth Amendment. It, you know what I'm saying? There's some, there's a condition to the pardon. It's not totally like do whatever you want, right? So what he, they're saying here is not, the pardon is not the point because the pardon is a problem. It comes with having to admit something. What they are going to say is that there was a problem Okay, this is the thing. They're going to say, well, the prosecution is wrong. No. Prosecution wrong. Yeah. Prosecution wrong. <laughs> prosecution wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Comey. Oh, yeah. It was. <laughs> like, you know, you know those people like... <laughs> like that it's like that's it they want they have to say that there was something wrong so that they could be like no let's 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 dismiss it let's dismiss it okay and that's it like he can't this is why guys it makes sense so the the other the answer finally now i get it i sometimes i feel like i talk so much but i think finally i learned something i get it and in the and i don't know what i see also i see bar counseling him I see because you know what's so interesting is that Barr, you know, for all the the hor horribleness that he does, he is he's garbage all the way, but he is very good at law. I know law. I know law. I know law. I know law. Like he knows the law, but he, he you know it's all about using the law to get the wrong things. Okay, so he's always like, no, but you can't, you can't have, you can't pardon him because you admit that you're guilty. He's like, forget about, no, he's like, no, you listen to me. You can't do that because this is going to be with you for a long time. And they're saying, guys, here, okay, that Barr knows what he's done. 
what Flynn done has done and Barr thinks is very serious. So like you don't, he's telling Trump, you don't want to get involved with this. Don't don't do that because it's something guys i do okay i don't know exactly i told you before i think he has given documents to like foreign countries about army bases i don't know but i feel like from what i the okay i observe Barr telling trump about this and what he's telling trump is this is espionage this is the most serious types of crimes you really want to avoid that he's just telling him like just don't go there you don't want to go there just don't go there Try to be stay away from that, okay? So you know, so this is it. It's interesting. He's just telling him, don't go there. It's something that is very serious, and the punishment is harsh, like death penalty or something. Okay, so don't go there. Just don't, you know, don't. That's why they're trying. He's like, I'm trying to to say that this is fake, and now we were like, you know, uh, uh, you know. So so this is why. Now let's go to guys. Let's go to Roger Stone because they're also in an while this is all happening, I saw online, and I, I haven't, guys, I haven't looked, I'm sorry, but I feel like he was supposed to report to jail today, but it was postponed 30 days. Did you see this? Let me find out, because I read this somehow, that he was supposed to go to jail, okay? So let's say Roger Stone, Roger Stone, jail, okay, report, okay? So there was something, like, he was supposed to report, okay? Okay, so he's, uh, now he appealed. I'm just like, okay, guys, we'll talk about privilege, okay? Talk about privilege. This guy should be in jail like five, five years ago. What the hell is he waiting for? Okay. So April 17th, he's supposed to report. What the hell is today? Like, okay. So let's say news. This is okay. So he's this is appealing now. What the hell? Why doesn't he? Okay, seriously. I don't understand, guys. What the hell? Why is he not in prison? Okay, let me just ask. So what the hell is happening here? The same thing with Roger Stone. Okay, so what the hell is happening here with Roger Stone? Oh, you know what's saying? I feel like, I think it's still Judge Amy. She's like, they're like, well, coronavirus. He's elderly. We have to wait. We have to wait. Uh -huh. oh. We have to wait. Like, so I think it's something, and she's like, She's annoyed, okay? They're trying to push it. But I feel like, guys, you know, I feel like this is the thing. Okay, so let me just ask the same thing. Why hasn't Trump pardoned Roger Stone? What, okay, why hasn't Trump pardoned Roger Stone? The same question, okay? And I see, guys, okay, this is really interesting. So I see that Trump, Roger Stone to him is a burning. It's like the kryptonite, like the burning, burning, burning. In other words, hot. In other words, Roger Stone is very close to the treason thing, you know, the deal with the Russians to get the emails, right? Get her emails, say, you know, oh, it's Russia, if you're hearing this, you know, all this stuff. So Roger Stone is very close to that. So he's afraid. At the same time, it's really interesting here. It's telling me like he's a fire. He's, he's like, he's so hot. He's so close to my crimes. And so he's afraid of him. He's a, Trump is really afraid of Roger Stone. Because, you know, guys, what, okay, think about it. Roger Stone has been blackmailing people his whole life. He knows, right? That's, he's a professional blackmailer. That's what he does. So he must know how to push the tr Trump's buttons and how he's afraid of him. More, you know, I feel like he's more afraid of Roger Stone than he's afraid of Michael Flynn. Okay. Yeah, after the election, Trump wins or loses, he'll get pardoned. Why? Why will he get pardoned, Glenn, after the election? Roger Stone? No. Like with a, with a new Democratic president, they pardon Roger Stone. It's very unlikely. Why would he? Okay. No info coming from Roger. No, I'm confused. Okay. So, okay. So, the, okay. Oh, you're talking about, okay, after November. That's what you're talking about. Okay. November. After November, between the time of the election and January. Okay. So, okay, but the, the same, but, but Glenn, the thing that I'm understanding here, this is a problem for Trump. This is a problem, is that if he pardons Roger Stone, Roger Stone admits to guilt, this is the same problem. And Trump is more worried about Roger Stone than he is about Michael Flynn, because Michael Flynn was doing something more behind the scenes, okay? 
Roger Stone is directly with his family and the whole the whole Russia emails, whatever that is, Russia services or whatever you call it. Okay, so so I feel like this is a problem. This is the problem is that he feels that if he, this and the other thing is Trump and this is the fear that they're correct. Trump is afraid of what is not public yet. Like they have the thing again. What was, what did he go to jail for? Or it's like lying to the FBI. I forgot exactly, but they're not saying. Here's the evidence of Roger Stone talking to to uh, arranging with Julian Assange to get the emails from Hillary. They don't didn't we don't know about that, right? It's not public. But the moment it becomes public and and he pardons Roger Stone and oh this is why, this is okay guys here the, he's a co-conspirator. That's the problem. Trump is a co-conspirator of Roger Stone. They are in it together. So he can't, this is the thing. I almost feel like it's easier for, for Michael Flynn to be pardoned than Roger Stone. For this very reason, because it, Trump admits that he, they are co-conspirators. Like, I think there is something in this law that you, okay, right? Isn't that you can't pardon a co-conspirator? He's a co-conspirator. I don't know if he's, guys, named in the, secret document like the un what is it unredacted okay so so let's say let's just say oh quick question i'm gonna search pardon co-conspirator co -con pardon a co-conspirator okay here there's okay guys i'm gonna i'm gonna link this to you okay oh and i'll tell you guys okay here okay here's the link you should read this this is important okay okay so 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 here, when the pardon furthers the conspiracy, limits to the pardon power. Okay. Pardons only apply to past acts. Not to, okay, okay, so, okay. Constitution provides, no, 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 okay. From the punishment the law inflicts for a crime he has committed, emphasis added. So in other words, so this is it, guys. Okay, so this is it. Par okay, the law is clear that a pardon cannot be prospective. It is implicit in the definition of a pardon as opposed to a suspension of the law. Okay, in other words, okay, so... Okay, so there, there, then there's like, it's, it's complicated. Okay, so when the part is part of the conspiracy. So in other words, you can argue that this is an ongoing crime. The co crime of pretending to be a president or whatever, it's illegally getting the presidency is ongoing. So you can't really, you know, you can't really like, okay, so it's complicated. This is much more serious because any of the other thing, guys, you could even argue that Bush versus Gore, even though he was, you know, clearly shady, like, it's not the same. Okay, like I know it's crazy. I know it's like this. I think they also, but it's, it's a little different here with Trump and Roger Stone because Bush, guys, Bush was not like, hey, Russians, come get, give me an election. That's what Trump did. And Roger Stone knows that. And also, if he has, if it, before he gets a pardon, he has to admit that he committed a crime. Okay. So, and the other thing is, I still feel like there's more indictments to come out of for Roger Stone. You know what I mean? This is, I think what they did, it was they indicted him for something relatively minor so they could get him to flip for the bigger thing. Okay. So he was stopped before the whole thing. You know, there's guys, I just think that, you know, this is the thing. Can he, okay, if he, if he, so what's next for Roger Stone? Let's just put it like this. Okay. What's next for Roger Stone? He's like, I, you know, I see he's, he has like a, he's almost like a weapon like a knife or like a sharp thing, like a sword or something on Trump. He's like pick, pickling on his skin or something. He's like almost torturing Trump, okay? With like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Like, yeah, teasing him with stuff. But I feel like then Trump falls back. Like he, once Trump is out, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know, okay? So is, is Rogerson gonna be pardoned? Is Rogerson going to be pardoned, okay? Is Roger Stone going to be pardoned by Trump? Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think he succeeds. Okay, the military, okay, here's the, the police or the, the law enforcement. This is the thing, guys. I think he's almost, the problem here is this, is this, is that he knows this is the part, like, okay, let's go back here. So asserting himself, shady money, money, the wrong focus and the victory was upside down. So he knows either he has financial connections to the people who helped Trump win the election. That's an opportunity for the letter, okay? Opportunity for something legal or opportunity for something here. But the, the snake is always a problem, okay? The snake, usually it's also could be like an opportunity for the snake, but it's an opportunity to do something shady in any way, okay? So he knows this. Now, this is exposing the enemy, the love and mal okay? So he has all, I think the thing with Roger Stone, he has a lot on Trump, but then you have the military, the party, and upside down, he's there. He knows, he knows all this, but I don't know that Trump, because guys, this is the thing you have to remember about Trump. Trump will never sacrifice himself for anybody. This is the, the, ma the magic mystery of Trump. He uses people and they still go to him and they still, he's still around because he never gives in to anyone. This is the thing you have to remember historically, he never helps anybody unless he gets something in return. Don't you think? I feel like this is very, very concrete about him. Unless Roger Stone doesn't have money. Okay, he received money from the Russian. He helps, helped Trump with stuff, but he doesn't have the hundreds of millions that Trump needs. So I feel like it's more like a safety issue here for Trump than it is a real need. Like Trump is willing to do a lot for, let's say, MBS, because MBS can put in like hundreds of millions of dollars the next day, give it to him or something or send it to him or whatever. But this guy doesn't have it. OK, so so I think what he does is that he has. I feel like it doesn't seem to come through, guys. It just doesn't. OK, does he? OK, is he going to be freed? Is he going to go to jail? OK, is, is Roger Stone going to go to jail? Hmm. He knows about Trump's sex capades, okay, clearly here. All the cards seem to indicate that. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but you know, I'm sorry. I think he's going to go to jail because look, this is this is interesting. The judgment in the beginning, but it's thwarted. Okay, now somebody talks. Somebody. This is could be court of but it's also somebody talking, and then it cuts. Okay, so in other words, I think what's going to happen is that I think Roger Stone may go to jail indeed, but in order for him to be freed, it's not going to be up to Trump. It's going to be up to him talking about Trump behind the back this is private this is the this is the orange man okay and so and here is the cheating or the you know the the tricks they did together and this is him i think roger stone ultimately hopes that trump would support it, would help him but this is the meaning that goes on does it make sense so it's very complicated because trump is very involved in the crimes of roger stone and if he admits to it right so, so, okay, so I think also because guys, Trump, if it was just one crime, but it's many. So who is to say that if Trump gives in something to Roger Stone, is he gonna be, is it gonna be enough? Okay, I think he's afraid. And I think, you know, so I think ultimately what, what Roger Stone has to do if he wants to avoid more time in prison is to talk about Trump after Trump leaves. So just last, ask guys, I'm sorry, is it okay if I, I feel like I asked too many questions, but just the last time. Okay, I'll repeat thing here. Okay, so is, is Roger Stone gonna go to jail? I think so, okay. Is he gonna go to jail? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I think he's gonna convince him, oh, don't worry about it, just for a little bit or something, okay. I think the coronavirus situation may, may free, may, may keep him away from jail for a while, but is he gonna escape? Is Roger Stone going to escape prison? He hopes. It's just, I don't know, guys. I feel like, oh, look, heartbreak. Yeah. I think this is, you know, he would, Trump would do a lot for Roger Stone. 
but not for the reasons we think. Okay, there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of tension, you know, with this situation. But but the problem is that Trump has other problems. This is everything comes out in the public, so you know what it is. You know what it is. I think we're, we're, there's going to be more revelations that Roger Stone not being in prison is not going to change anything. So, in other words, I think the situation, the time when when Roger Stone can pressure Trump to to pardon him is limited. It's only like around now because later there's going to be so much information out about Trump. You see what I'm saying? So Trump has committed so many crimes that does. Okay, for example, could Roger Stone prevent the financial documents from coming out? No. So what's the point of of pardoning him for Trump? That's the most danger. Think of guys. The guy has committed so many crimes. Okay. So, so this is, it. and you have to think Donna's like, okay, why is he not in jail? I think this is as far as Trump has gone to help him. I think he has helped him a lot. The fact that he's not locked up, he's not, you know, he's not being raped right now or whatever, you know, like in prison. So, you know, so, you know, so, so I feel like he's done a lot for him if you think about it, right? Like already, already. Okay. So it's like at the end of the day, it will, this is what, it's more meaningful, but it's just that once more stuff, more damaging stuff comes out, the, the value of Roger Stone not be, it's not gonna be much because the bigger things, not bigger guys, you know, he's, like I said, too many crimes. He can't stop all of the stuff, okay? Okay, guys, one minute to Rachel, but last, look, quick question. Last question is about uh, this, this, this Israeli bank and, and Jared. So is Jared in by guy? Good night, guys. I'm going to continue. Just one more last question, but keep go ahead, go ahead. Don't feel you know. Just last question. Without I ask it another time. Okay, also, but this is Israeli bank. Okay, that made a deal. Is Jared has Jared been caught in this investigation of this Israeli bank? Yeah, I think it's like this huge money laundry scheme, guys. A huge money laundry scheme, and I think yes. Has Jared? Okay. Oh no. Jared? Oh no, has to has go, has go. Oh no. So yeah. Oh no, deal. Deal. Personal finances. Okay. Blockage. Oh right. That's right. You've been blocked. The money's blocked. Okay. So visit. Okay. Visit the money. May a lot of money. I visit for a lot of money. I lost the money. Oh no, Jared. Frozen money for it. I don't know. Give money back to Sarah. <laughs> Give money back to him. Money back to him. Yeah, they took money. Oh, I said for Sarah. For him. I'm not sad for him. Oh, disgrace for him. Oh, no, Jared. Oh, they found the look upside down. They discovered the money, Jared. They discovered it. Discovered it. Discover it, discover it. Oh yeah, that's it. So in other words, yes, the, the, he was caught and, and he's part of the scheme and the money has already been frozen, even though it has not been made public. Okay, so this is it. So good night guys, okay, good night. See you later, Reza. alligator, Reza. alligator. Reza. Okay, so, uh, okay, so this is it. This is good, this is interesting. Today was interesting, interesting. Interesting, yeah, guys. But I think you know, Christine. I really more and more. If Trump has to fall before anything happens, especially with coronavirus, and that makes sense. You know, Jared is under such problems that he has to. This is what he's doing: is blackmailing people, blackmailing people with the coronavirus situation. Oh well, no! If you catch me, I'm gonna make more people die. <laughs> but it's not gonna last for a long time, guys. Okay, so okay, so have a good night. Good night. Good night. And we'll talk very soon. What is wrong? <laughs> okay. Okay. See you later, guys. Okay. So thanks for staying with me, even though I talk a lot. Okay. Okay. So have a good one. See you later. Good night, everybody. Okay. Let's go see Rachel. Rachel, okay. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>